Homeworthy, I'm Annie. Welcome to my home in Gulf Breeze, Florida. Let me show you around. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Thank you to Serena and Lily for sponsoring today's episode. I'm Annie Malone and I'm a lifestyle blogger at Home of Malone's. We're in Gulf Breeze, Florida right now, just outside of Pensacola. And my husband and I built our home about three years ago. And it is on uh, the Bay of Pensacola, looking over um, from Gulf Breeze into Pensacola. And we bought this lot almost seven years, eight years ago actually to date and there was another house on it and we tore it down about five years ago and then started the process of uh, planning our house and then building and like i said we just moved in just over three years ago we immediately fell in love with the lot we love the location of where we were kind of hidden tucked back a little bit um, in gulf breeze proper but on the bay a little bit more high and dry than some of the waterfront lots in town. And there's beautiful big oak trees in our front yard. And again, we, we do kind of have a little bit of that elevation in the back um, because we get plenty of hurricanes here. So we knew this would be the perfect lot for us. It was wide um, and we didn't know when we wanted to build. So we, we knew that once the lot was available that we had to jump on it and we, the funniest story of our um, purchasing this lot was that I went into labor on, um, well, I went in about a week early having my second child and I actually had to sign the closing documents for our house while in the hospital. Our uh, real estate, our attorney came to the hospital and met me because we had to get them signed that day. And uh, so we'll never forget. So it was, it was eight years ago. Um, in the at Sacred Heart Hospital, and I'm signing the the documents to purchase our lot. So we we we're not going to let it pass us by. Welcome into our entryway. Come on in. When we were building the house and designing it, it was so important to us when we walked through the front door that you got this aha moment straight out into the water as soon as you walked in and it's one of my favorite features when you walk in the house so then when i was designing in here <clears throat> i knew i wanted to keep the colors of the water so we have still lots of blues um, this big beautiful piece of art that just is really calming and i love the acrylic modern frame for it and also when I was doing this room, I knew that our, these Julie Neal lights were a must. I had fallen in love with them immediately. And uh, this pair in our entryway were just, again, um, such a, a, a big wow in the room. So we've been so happy with that. This is one of my favorite antique pieces that we have in this house. It's um, the antique chest and then this mirror comes separate. I found this for our house that we had in Pensacola, Fairhope about an hour away has some of the most beautiful antique shops for us. So this chest and this mirror uh, were some of my favorite pieces that we were really able to use and mix in in this house with some of the more modern and fun pieces of furniture as well. And so I love that look again, mixing the antiques with some of the more modern fun um, furniture. When we were uh, looking to decorate the house, I really wanted some good fun color as soon as we walked in. I get asked about this rug all the time. It's one of my favorite finds. It fit really nicely in here, but then brought in the colors from the house as well as some fun pinks and 
fun pops that, uh, again, that we use throughout the house. And you'll see as we go next door into our sitting room um, as well. I love to make the home uh, or the house feel like a home. As they say, I think I have three young kids, um, ages five, eight, and 10. And when we first built our brand new home, I wanted everything perfect and untouched. Um, so it felt, but knowing that I had young kids, I knew we had to make it playful and, and areas where um, the kids were gonna be able to play and have their things. And so it's evolved over the last three years. Um, but for me, I think just, um, again, just that light bright brings me joy every day. And then let, making sure that it's a place that everybody feels comfortable. We entertain a ton, my husband and I. Uh, we love to have people over for dinner and, and entertain for football games and outdoors um, during the summer pools and boating. Uh, so again, uh, it's something I like to keep um, nice and pretty, but also comfortable for everybody to feel welcome. You know, I think my style definitely has become a, like a, a coastal chic style being that we're on the water now. Um, but I've always, I have a lot of family in New Orleans and I've always kind of had a love for some of the antiques, like the old mixed with the new. Uh, this house is definitely white and bright um, with kind of your cooler colors, the, the light blues, the light greens and, and a little bit of pink. I love my little splash of pink in it. Um, but I think overall the feel is going to be pretty light and bright. And um, as we see the house, definitely you'll see a strong sense of, of blues uh, throughout, which is my favorite color. Come on in to my ladies lounge as we call it now. This is the one room that I was talking about earlier that Originally, when we built this house, it was our office. Uh, I had a desk in the middle of the room with these built-ins and I used it as my study or office. And the more and more we were living in the house, I, I just realized it was always a mess. It wasn't super functional for us and as for the whole family, and that we were really missing a space that had more of a cozy nook uh, um, or just cocktail lounge area. And there is nothing that makes me happier than having a room that has four chairs that swivel and meet in the middle. So there is a coffee table underneath this table, but at the moment I am highly Mahjong obsessed. So this is just a foldable card table that I have placed on top. And this is where we sit and play Mahjong, which has been so much fun as well as the kids and I will come in here and we play, we'll play cards and family game night. And uh, again, they've even gotten into Mahjong, which has been really, really fun. So these chairs um, are from Coley Home and they turned out so beautiful. We used uh, our own fabric to really give it a fun pop in here. And uh, my friend Kelly at Salt Home Studio just helped bring this whole vision to life. And it has been one of my, it's just turned out to be one of my favorite rooms. Again, some of my Instagram followers I polled to ask and Ladies Lounge became the very favorite name. And so now I kind of jokingly call it the Ladies Lounge. I wanna show you guys something really cool about this room. So we have a secret door and we designed this as easy access to get into my closet from the front door. So this door opens up and goes into my master closet and has been so much fun and so useful that it, again, I, I, who knew when we were building it, but it has been one of my favorite features of the whole house. So the bookshelves in this room have all been um, redone recently when I redid, went from the office to a more sitting lounge. I kind of made sure that I made these look pretty and fun. So some of them are old pieces, some are new, but I really took a moment to try to style these, this whole room kind of, again, fun and light with all the colors that I love. So I have some special little pieces um, that I kind of just popped in with within pictures, family pictures. And again, I think bookshelves can be so hard, but if you can take a minute and do some groupings of things of books, picture frame boxes, it really does take a minute, but it, it really is so fun to put together. So I've had fun with these 
Uh, this is one of my favorite features. This has moved all around our house, but it's just a coffee table book holder with that acrylic uh, stand. And it's always, I always get compliments on it. And I think it just makes a nice clean feature throughout the house. These books are some of my favorite to decorate with. These acelines, they've got all different cities all over. And I, you'll find them in all different little pockets of my house. I, I, I absolutely love them. So again, just different, different shapes, different sizes. I've just played around with these shelves, but there's little trinkets all, all throughout that I really love and have collected over the last few years. All right, now if you wanna follow me into our family room, I'd love to show you there. Now we're in our family room. One of my favorite features of this house, again, is just that, or in this room, is that we've got all the bright lights coming from outside. The natural light is so beautiful with the look out into the pool, into the water. It's just serene. Uh, but this is the main area that our family hangs out in. The kids always have their games out here, arts and crafts. It's where the whole family congregates, where we watch TV the most. And I wanted it to feel clean and beautiful, but also comfortable for everybody to be in here. And I think we've mastered that uh, pretty well. It's very open into our kitchen and dining room. I did brave white or light couches. Uh, they are a performance fabric that have, I've been able to clean, but with kids, you never know. Uh, so I, I've loved these Lee couches very, very much in the house. And we're three years in, we've done okay. And. Uh, one of the things I laugh about is uh, my husband did have one request. I got to pretty much pick and choose everything that we wanted in this house. And one of his big requests is that he wanted some type of recliner in his home. So I couldn't just have your everyday recliner in here, but we took to our own fabric and used a company called um, the, I think it's American... Um, leather company, the American Leather Company, and we were able to use our own fabric and they had these pretty chairs that still work as recliners but look good in the house. And he was happy and I was happy and I felt like that was a win-win. So any of you that have the same uh, challenges in your house, there are ways to do it that look nice. We've been really happy with these chairs. Our coffee table, again, gets a lot of love here. This is where the kids still pull out all their artwork and all their, their crayons and things. So trying to decorate the coffee table, it's always a work in progress. You can see these same pretty coffee table books. I liked, I love to keep um, a candle here for charm. And these blue candlesticks have been some of my favorite finds. People always ask me where I get those. You can now get them on Amazon. And right now I have this beautiful bowl filled with flowers. These kind of, these pieces kind of come and go and move and I'm always changing, but right now I love the feel of the coffee table. It just, it gives space for everybody to be and play and not too dainty that it's gonna get knocked over by kids and, and cause a mess. So same over here in our bookshelves. It's kind of try to use the same rule of a thumb for styling. I, I mix some picture frames and ginger jars and raffia and neutral colors with books um, and small pieces. So things that I've collected over the years and just played with. Um, we keep these cabinets closed, which is always nice because this is where we hide all the kids stuff. So when I say that there's arts and crafts around, we've got arts and crafts so they can grab. Uh, on the other side, we have all of our games for the kids. So again, we, they like to be downstairs. They like to be with us. So we try to keep it uh, friendly for them as well. Books, uh, TVs, I always feel like people like to look in and see where the, where the messy things are. My daughter's tea set's still down here. We use a lot of the, the raffia, these cute little, these are some of my favorite little statues that we've had up here and it gives, gives me my, my pop of pink. Lastly, in this room, I have to point out these beautiful lamps. Um, my decorator, Lacey Phillips, she helped in the whole house and she does an incredible job, but she found these lamps. And again, the second I saw them, I said, those have to be in our house. The, the blues are so pretty in it. It's such a beautiful um, pop in our room. So we have a set here in the family room and they are uh, absolutely one of my favorite pieces that pop out in this room. So now if you wanna come take a look into my kitchen, come along.
So the kitchen, I always say, is the heart of the home. This is where I spend a ton of my time, where the kids sit up at the bar, uh, where we host family, cook all of our meals, and enjoy a ton of time. I think one of my favorite things in the house that we did in the kitchen, and I think it's totally okay, is using things like mixing metals. So we have the, the golds up here, but then the polished nickel in the pot holder or in our sink, I think it's a beautiful mix of both tones and you're okay that not everything has to all be the same metal. You can even see in our ovens, we've kind of mixed the silver and the gold knobs, which I think is such a fun and different look that I don't see that much. Um, and I, again, if you're, if you're considering and contemplating, I think a, a nice mix is, is perfectly acceptable in a kitchen. I love to cook and I'm in here a lot. So a nice dinner with the whole family sitting down is one of my favorite things in the world. So we do a lot of Italian and, and some Cajun mixed in. Uh, my family's all from New Orleans. So we love um, like crawfish etouffee and jambalaya and gumbo. I do a lot of chicken, like pan seared chicken dishes. Uh, with whether it's a marsala sauce or a um, chicken parmesan. We do a lot of that type of food in, in our um, kitchen. In fact, uh, tonight we're making the seafood pasta. That's one of my mom's famous dishes. Uh, I, we are very lucky to have a, a place called Joe Patty's. That's like the ultimate seafood market of all um, of the country, in my opinion. But we get really, really good seafood. So we're doing a lot of fish. Um, a lot of crab meat and we, we, we do crab cakes a lot. That's one of my very favorites. So I, I share a lot of recipes on our, on my blog, so you can find some there. Um, but my kids, uh, during the summer, my husband and my kids are out on our dock and honestly, w they catch fresh fish and we will cook it that night or we'll fry it, um, up in the summertime. So we are, we really do. Um, I joke sometimes just the, the freshness of some of our meals is pretty amazing. So it was important to me that we had an, a very big island that we could sit all the kids or all the family or, or the kids and their friends up at our island. So these are such fun chairs that kind of give that fun beachy vibe. We started out with just four of them on this counter and within a few weeks of living in the house, I said, I need one more. If it's one more, we've got to have five up here. I have three kids and we've always got extra kids here at the house. So I love having all these bar stools for the kids to come play. They eat up here, they put their placemats up here and have uh, and play Play-Doh. Again, when mom's in the kitchen cooking, guess where the kids wanna be? They wanna be right here next to me. So it really is fun um, to have this big island that they can all sit at and, and eat at and, and play. Spring and summer just bring me so much joy because being out on the water is my favorite part about being in this house. But again, it's also being able to entertain and welcome our friends and family here at the house. We, we do holidays and random Saturdays. We love to have people over um, to share in our home and, and enjoy with our family. All right, now I'll show you into the dining room. This dining room opens up again to the water and to all the views. When we were designing this house, we went back and forth whether we were gonna have a formal dining room that would have had to been in the front of the house without any views and a little bit more um, closed off and formal. But when we were looking at the plans, we, we said, where do you think we're gonna to wanna to sit? We're gonna to wanna to sit where we can see the views. So our dining room, it's kind of a formal but yet very inviting space that we sit at day and night. Uh, we have our breakfast here, our lunch, dinner, and we love, again, to entertain. So it, it's, not, it's not uncommon for us to, to have this table set for eight people and have a fun dinner party right here. And this is, again, where we do all of our entertaining and, and eating, uh, both casual and uh, fancy. So it's been one of my favorite rooms. These chairs mm -hmm. were such a nice find. Again, um, my decorator helped me find these. I can't remember uh, the source, but we did have, we used custom fabric and had all the um, seat covers um, covered and they, they've taken a little beating with my kids. So, but the good news is, is that I can always recover them again if we need to. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, the light bright, they're comfortable. They feel really good in this space. 
So I wanna show you guys this piece of art. This has been a really fun addition. This happened a couple years ago. I had a photographer come, uh, she's from Birmingham, and she came and took underwater pictures of my kids in our pool. And so this is them. And they um, then we used an artist local here in Pensacola named Sarah Sol Webb, and she painted from the pictures that we took, she did this painting. And it is one that I'll treasure forever. Again, I loved that it was just the kids enjoying the house, enjoying the pool, not with their faces, but just a fun artistic view um, in, our, in our dining room. So that always brings me joy. I would say the biggest piece of advice that I was given when we built our house was that you're never gonna have it perfect the first time, but do your research and Write down your list. So during our building process, I tried to share uh, on our blog to help others of, <clears throat> you know, the five best tips that you can give because you learn so much along the way. And again, this is the second house my husband and I have built. We certainly did things wrong. We have, but we did, you know, we, we did a lot right. And you don't know until you've lived in the house uh, wh how, what you're going to want and how things are going to flow. And you're, and again, when you're building for young families, we had three babies at the time. It seemed like when we got here and now they're getting bigger and, and your change and your needs evolve. So I think, you know, doing your research that we've got so much at our fingertips with online resources, find what your style is. And, and, um, when you're building, take the time looking for um, those little extra, I don't know, I feel like it's um, when it comes to cabinets and organization and all those things, there's a lot of really great tips out there and you're, and I was like, oh, I wish I'd done that. Um, he, here we are three years into our house and I've already just changed our first room in the home. Um, so I think it takes living in it until sometimes until you know. All right, well, I talked about entertaining. Now I've got to take you into my bar. I want to show you this little space that we've really loved having, a little small nook um, that welcomes guests for making cocktails, having wine, whatever we need. So my favorite Estelle glasses are all displayed here on our glass shelves. And then we keep in all the cabinets is our, our liquor and wine glasses and we keep our ice maker in here and one of our favorites is a refrigerator drawer if you don't have these these are so much fun to keep in the house so refrigerator drawers in here um, we even keep our second dishwasher for when we have extra cups there is a dishwasher built in we kind of packed it all into this tiny little space but again it's got such good pop these tiles that i picked out just bring in again the gold from the kitchen and add so much charm and it makes for a really happy fun space when we're entertaining. Speaking of entertaining, let me show you into our entertaining closet where I keep all the goods for when we entertain. All right, welcome into the entertaining closet. So this is one of these rooms that started out as a really a pretty empty closet in our house we didn't know what exactly what we wanted to do with it so we lived in the house a few years and i had just a kind of a removable shelf in here and quickly it became a spot that i kept all of our plates and um, candles and and candlesticks and wine glasses and so about a year ago i decided we needed to truly make it the entertaining closet we hired um, inspired closets and mobile to come in here and build these shelves for us and make it a true entertaining closet so i keep our tablecloths platters all my extra plates all of our candlesticks all of our candles and all my napkins everything that i need for entertaining is all in here in one space now, which I absolutely love. And I love that we waited and made it happen. All right, if you guys wanna head into my primary bedroom next, I'd love to show you around. When you walk into the bedroom, I have the portraits of my children that always makes me smile. Again, kind of that antique feel brought in. Um, I know this is a little bit still um, something old, older school, but 
They make me so happy. Um, I'm still waiting on my third is being done now, but Leon Lord out of Montgomery does these and they're beautiful. They come and make the process so easy. The kids sit for pictures and then you ship the pictures off and they do the paintings for you and they're absolutely beautiful. So those are just a treasure in my home that I hope my kids treasure when they get older. Welcome into our primary bedroom. So this is the spot that I knew wanted to feel calming and relaxed and just clean. So when we were, when we were going through it, I knew I needed those light blues um, with a little femininity of the pink that I've been able to use in here as well. So it started again, Leontine Linens and out of New Orleans has just always been one of my favorite linen companies. So I, I, I started with just the clean look of our bedspreads. And then um, my decorator found this gorgeous rug when she was in Atlanta that again, brought in that blue, has the light pinks, just gave me all the feels that I wanted and, and the rest of the room kind of came together. So we had these chests from our, from our old house. Again, the antique chest. Uh, we have an amazing furniture store here called Duh that is local to us that has some really beautiful pieces. The lamps. We needed something big. We have 12 foot ceilings in this house. So we needed really some big pop and some height in the house. So we found these big, beautiful lamps that I absolutely love. And again, the headboard giving, giving some more height in here. Uh, one day I would love to wallpaper this room because I really think it could use some fun um, design on the walls. I've, I've found the wallpaper that I love, but we'll see if that, that comes to fruition. So. Again, it's just a peaceful place. Um, the curtains are really fun. We've got these gorgeous views that we can use, but they're also electric. If I can recommend anything, that's one of my favorite things. So it's set up to say, Alexa, close my curtains. Alexa, open my curtains. Which has been so nice. This piece of art was one of my early finds as well. Again, that acrylic frame that I love that gave that modern pop with the really soothing pinks that tied in from the rugs that we found um, with the blues and the pinks and, and really brought the whole color scheme together for us. And over here, this is where we watch TV. So if you guys have seen, this is the Samsung frame TV that we love. We have it in our family room and in here, but. It looks like a piece of art, which is the ideal. And you can change out the art right now. We've got a wintry piece. We need an update to spring and you can change out. These are white frames, but it's all magnetic. So you can have wood. There's all different kinds of frames you can choose from, but it sits real close against the wall and uh, gives that picture frame look, which I love. And then underneath this is, this was, um, we used as a buffet table in our old dining room. Again, a beautiful antique we found over in Fairhope that I just adore that brings in kind of the old antique feel um, to the room and it fits beautifully underneath our TV. So I do store even more entertaining things in here sometimes and um, it sits nicely underneath the TV for us. You know, I think everything from taking a trip with my family. I, I love, we love to travel and we probably, we love going anywhere from the mountains to the beach. Um, but I, I would say the Caribbean is our favorite place in the whole world. And so being down in the Bahamas and um, seeing the, the coastal decor down there has been so inspiring to me. Um, Amanda Lynn Roth has done some incredible spaces and homes down there and I always feel so inspired by looking at her her things um, anything down in Harbor Island I mean they they have got such a beautiful sense of style so I take a lot there but again also from people I follow on social media on Instagram that the whole grand millennial style has become so popular and those beautiful pale blues and pale greens again I, I and um, any kind of raffia wicker it just i i've fallen in love with it so i right now i'd say that's my um my favorite style mm -hmm. 
Welcome into my primary bathroom. When we were designing this bathroom, we knew we wanted a his and her sink with plenty of cabinet space that we can utilize in the bathroom. So we went with kind of our the grays to really pick up the marble that we've chosen. I knew um, I wanted these marble herringbone floors. You know, it was just something that I had seen and I had gotten my mind stuck on. So it was important to me that we had these beautiful marble tiles in a herringbone pattern. And then the shower and the rest of the room kind of took shape from there. We went with a, a nice um, pale gray cabinet with this fun um, antique mirrored look to just give it um, a little character in here. And then on the walls, instead of doing just a a plain painted wall. We, we chose to do the um, shiplap, which turned out really fun and pretty in here that I think looked really nice with the mirrors and um, gave it that pop. So over in our tub, we had this big wall. My husband wanted to make sure that we had a big walk-in shower. It was his um, sort of vision to have a walk-through shower all the way through. So we knew we were going to have this big wall that I wanted to Either one, I had to find a piece of art for, or two, we ended up being able to find this gorgeous um, sort of artistic tile that we framed out of marble to make it look like it was a, a neat piece of art. So above my tub, we have this really pretty tile work that I love the way that it turned out. And um, I love a bath. So this tub is one of my favorite places. Uh, the, the hardest thing to do is try to hide from my girls because they always want to either jump in with me or steal it. So it's such a relaxing spot for us to be. Um, I found this piece of art recently um, that I just thought sort of gave the whole pop um, to the room. It's kind of a nice muted gray, but this fun, these women um, in here brought all the good, the good colors and just sort of makes me smile every time I walk into the room. And I love I love this framed art for, for this space. Uh, throughout the room, you'll see we use Wheezy towels. They make the best towels with the most beautiful monograms throughout. Uh, one of my favorite features of the towels is very simple, but they add this little extra piece of lining that makes it easy to hook and hang your towels dry. So again, so silly, so simple, but really such a nice feature throughout the room. And as well as the towels, they also make these nice bath mats that match the towels and kind of give it all a very cohesive look. So when we're at the sink, um, we have a nice cozy spot to stand and enjoy. Another piece in this bathroom that I absolutely love is our lighting up here. Um, I picked out this beautiful scounce when we were in the planning stages and I knew that it gave like the beautiful feminine look to really put the whole room together. So I can't tell you enough about if you're if you're considering doing a beautiful piece of uh, lighting fixture go for it it's one of the most like wow things you can do in a room and one of the things that were so important to me throughout the entire house this side of the house is where we enter from the garage and where the kids unload all their school stuff and all their sports equipment so we built this set of lockers here um, for all the kids. So each kid has their own locker, their own shoe drawers, and then we have sort of a little landing space that they can um, plug in their electronics. We can hang school work, put calendar stuff. So this is sort of like the centralized um, space of the whole house that we're always just trying to keep clean and, and keep everything put together here. Okay, so when we were building this house and we, we knew we wanted lockers, I, I polled um, my Instagram followers and said, what do you think? Can I have open lockers or is it a must to have closed doors? And guess what? Everybody said, you will never regret having closed doors because guess what? You can hide the mess. Each of their lockers, they can throw in their, their jackets, their ballet stuff, their soccer things, and all the mess is hidden. So when guests and company come over, I don't have to worry about them all looking beautiful and put together. I had these portraits done of the kids uh, about a year ago, these black and whites that I absolutely love. We drove over to Fairhope. Uh, Frances Sadler, is, she's known for these gorgeous black and whites. 
and I captured all the kids, I think, so well. And these beautiful frames are from FrameBridge. So I sent them the, the photos and then they had them all framed and matted for me, sent them right back, and they look so good in this space. I just adore it. Being on the water is probably my favorite part about being in the home. It's a lifestyle. We have three kids that we love to be outside with. Um, our family loves to be out on the boat, be on the water. Uh, we, here in Gulf Breeze, we live about five minutes by drive um, to the beach. And we do go to the beach a lot, but more so we go by boat than we do by car. So we love to get out on our boat. We have a pontoon boat. It's um, we call it the party barge and we just load up and uh, we can meet friends or ha hit different little islands um, along the way. And so spring and summer just bring me so much joy because being out on the water is my favorite part about being in this house. But again, it's also being able to entertain and welcome our friends and family here at the house. We, we do holidays and random Saturdays. We love to have people over um, to share in our home and, and enjoy with our family. Welcome to our outdoor space. This is our grill uh, sitting, an extension of our indoor, uh, of the indoor of our house. We, when we were designing this house, we not only built a back porch for us, but we knew we wanted a side porch that felt like it was another living space that we could really sit and enjoy. We could watch TV, we could sit by the fire and sit out here with friends uh, while we grilled and entertained. So that's exactly what this space has been and we've been so happy. I fell in love with this furniture from Serena and Lily. It's all slip covered, so it's an outdoor furniture, but everything comes off and I can throw it in the washer with, and bleach it and it has turned out like looking brand new. So we've been out, we've had this for over three years. They do get dirty in the winter, but again, it all goes into the, to the washer and can come out looking brand new and it feels amazing. So same with our rug. We, this rug, Serena and Lily, an outdoor rug. I've used a pressure washer and even when it's been muddy and yucky, the pressure washer, it, it has it turned out almost brand new. It looks great. All right, welcome into our backyard. The space that we live in come summertime and the kids just have a ball. We have um, the pool as well as the whole back porch area that we really spend all of our time. As soon as the spring weather hits, we'll be dining outside. We're so happy to be here. We love this space so much and this whole backyard feel where we get to look out in the beautiful Pensacola Bay and be living on the water. You know, I think what gives the home soul is the people within it. You know, I, it's, it's not so much the home itself, but making um, the memories in our home. I think for me, again, having these young kids, we try to make every day something a little bit special. And I hope that uh, people feel welcome in our home no matter what. We, like I said, I think our, our, we have an open door that we wanna bring people in to enjoy. Uh, our kids can run around and have friends over. We play games like crazy um, around here. We love, we love games and the laughter and the love that I think uh, is what makes the house a home. I, it is what brings, um, gives the house a soul. It, it, it's not all the things in it, but, but the people in it. What home means to me is again, a safe place for my family to be. It's a place that I can bring loved ones in and enjoy and uh, be around the kitchen and serve food and, and, and bring laughter and make memories for everybody. It is, there is nothing better to me than uh, making it, I love to cook, so making a big meal, having everybody around the kitchen and laughing and chatting and making memories that we will have forever. I, I think um, my kids, even being young, there's no doubt that they realize how much we love 
uh, to have people and to share our home with them and and to share it with their friends and and the and the families that we've met through them, I uh, absolutely it it brings me so much joy to have that in our home. I'd say. Thanks for watching. Go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content and shopping guides.